Hey you guys, I'm here with Weekly Mail. I have like a couple little pieces and then I guess we'll do a follow-up chit chat. <coughs> Since it seems like that is just how it's gonna have to go from here on out. Anyway, let me go ahead and get these couple of things out of the way and then we can chit chat. Next is from Swaggable. Um, Smiley 360, you just join it and you can get in on some free stuff to, you know, write personal reviews and stuff like that. I mean, it's really simple. You don't have to, it's, it's really no big deal. Check out smiley360.com. Next is from Swaggable. Swaggable, same difference. Just, they have less items and their samples are like literally samples. Like for instance, this little thing. This is just, what is this? This is a personal wash. So it's just one little sample of a personal wash. Um, and next is this weird thing, which I had no idea what this was. I did not request it. It doesn't ring a bell to me, none of that. It just showed up in my mailbox. So, um, well, on my porch. So I went and since it's not in English, the only reason why I knew kind of what it was was because there was a return slip in here and it says Planetarium Star Master Projector Romantic Light Night Sky Child Toy Gift. I swear that's what it says. So everything is in another language and um, it's just like this thing. Apparently this little thing right here has like tiny little holes all over and it looks like the solar system. Um, so it seems pretty interesting. I opened it up and it's just like this these little things here and then supposedly there's like these flat panels that you can assemble and it'll show like the sky at night on your ceiling like you can see the little dipper and all that stuff so yeah I'll give it a try next I got I actually got this because my um, my friend at work her husband is very outdoorsy and she's like if you ever have anything you know let me know he'll get it he'll take pictures he'll do reviews for you blah 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 blah, blah. so I said okay fine um, I've been getting offered lots of fishing equipment, so, and, you know, that's his thing. So I, I got this retractable fishing pole. I got it, and it came in, like, this little sleeve right here, and I was like, it's a fishing pole in there? You've got to be kidding me. So apparently, this thing, I mean, it literally, if you take, let me take this little protector off, it, like, seriously extends to, like, a for real fishing pole. And I was like, what? Look, I mean, it goes like, here we go, what? It's really super, like for real long. So I'm super impressed. I would have kept it for myself, except for I don't have like a reel and I don't really go fishing, but I thought it was cool. I mean, he's always canoeing and this is like perfect. He could like throw it in his backpack and whatever. So I think he will appreciate that. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool. So I like to get things that are for my friends too, as long as they're willing to give me a hand and take some pictures when they're using it. I'm like, go for it. I mean, come on, if you're gonna get some free stuff, why not, right? All right, so that is basically all that I got this week for review. So on to some chit chat. So uh, there was a couple of people from Tennessee actually. California, so we have Grace in California. We have Tamalia, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. And we have my couponing friend, I don't know what his name is, but um, Tennessee, Tennessee couponer. Um, who else is in here from wherever, from California, Grace, did I say Grace? Um, and then Jennifer, I forgot where she's, oh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So anyway, and there was a few of you that had taken these, this, that um, topic, um, oral communications, um, already so I thought that was pretty neat I don't know I think it's that's like my favorite class that I'm taking right now is because it's it's valid to the world that I'm living in and I can actually associate it with every day unlike algebra come on people we don't use algebra why is that even required I don't even know anatomy and physiology yeah I get it for nursing you have to know that but my teacher is all about concepts 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 mind you I didn't take anatomy and physiology last year six months ago. I took it nine years ago. Nine. So when he's talking about this, that, and the other, and this, and this, and this, and that, and I'm just like, uh, what? So I have a lot of home studying that I have to do, and it's really hard. And as a matter of fact, um, ever since I've started, it started like two weeks ago. I'm into, I'm gonna be into my fourth week now into school, and I have this freaking twitch in my eye. 
So I have this twitch that happens in my eye. It is super noticeable. Everybody, I, I noticed it initially, obviously, because you could feel the twitch. You know how sometimes you get a twitch in your eyelid or whatever? I have this twitch right here. And it's not going on right now, of course, but it was going on a couple seconds ago. Um, and I'm just like, I don't know. I guess it's stress. It's the lack of sleep. I haven't been sleeping. Um, I haven't been on social media hardly any just because I don't have time. I'm so exhausted getting up three days a week at 5, 5.30 in the morning and not going to sleep until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and doing it all over again is exhausting. And so um, I guess that's what's bringing on my twitch. I feel like I'm crazy. And I was outside taking my dog out this morning and this was nonstop, just like And then I was looking at my phone, I was playing Soda Crush and I'm looking at it and I can even see the twitch as I'm looking at it. And then no joke, I'm here like da 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 whatever, whatever. And I'm looking up at my dog. He's doing his whatever he's doing. And then this eye on the top started twitching. So I had a twitch here and a twitch here. And I was like, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm never going to be able to walk around because I'll be like twitching all over the place. It's insane. So anyway, this kind of feels so good to chit chat. Let me tell you, I feel like this is... Like I can breathe and it just feels good. This is a hobby that I love to do is YouTube. I like to do videos. I like to talk about stuff that I like and it feels good. So when I'm in doing my classes and trying to focus and it's so hard and reading books, if you guys are like this, I know there's a lot of people that love to read and I wish I loved to read as much as some of you people do but as soon as I start reading I'll be reading like not on my phone obviously but on say a book I'm reading it and within the first two sentences I'm yawning I don't know what it is about me and reading but I can't read as soon as I mean I could be up like right now wide awake whatever and as soon as I sit down to read I'll be like wanting to go to sleep instant it's like it's like taking a sleeping pill <laughs> it's crazy I just don't get it whatever what can you do, right? All right. Anyway, uh, oh, I wanted to um, address, let me see. Somebody uh, somebody had asked me if I was going to be missing, like, freebies. It was Wendy. Um, of course I'm going to miss the freebies and the review items. I'm so tempted. I still go every so often just to go look and see what's on Amazon Review Trader or, you know, other sites and... I check my emails. Oh my God, my emails are going crazy lately. Like people are offering me all kind of craziness and I want to say yes. Believe me, I want to say yes, but I can't say yes. I just don't have the time. So, you know, it's just a couple things here and there and like this fishing pole thing. I don't really have to do it. You know, they're going to do the pictures. They're going to do everything for me and send me a little da -da 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 about what it is and, uh, you know, that's great because then I don't have to freaking do it. Life is crazy. So I'm going to be one month in, one month down. Yes, 17 months to go. Um, so I'm just counting down the weeks and the days. I have an exam next week. I just did one of my exams online today on the oral communication. So that one was, it was open book. So it was, re it was really easy. And then I have anatomy and physiology. That is going to be a killer because I have to know um, like, uh, I don't know, the basal ganglia and why this happens to that and the sodium potassium pump and, and all these craziness, you know, um, and again, my instructor's all about concepts. He's not going to say, okay, you know, show you the picture of the brain and tell me what this and this and this is. No, it's going to be like, here's a story. This person burned their finger. Now, what track does it go up in the spinal cord and where does it stop at the at the this and the that and the dorsal horn this and and the medulla oblongata and the and I'm just like I'm just not that far advanced people give me a break so I'm gonna be drilling myself unfortunately I have a bunch of classes and not just the one class so that's a little bit difficult but um, I'm gonna do my best and uh, that's all that I can do so hopefully I'll do okay I'll get a passing grade that's all that I want. I'm not looking to be perfect and getting 100% or nothing. I just want to pass. <laughs> That's it. That's my goal. I'm testing out 
this little microphone right here. I don't know what it is, how it works, or nothing. I just plugged it into my, ca my camera, and I'm just gonna place it down. I wonder how it sounds. We'll test it out now and see um, if it makes a difference or not. And if it does, if it makes good sound quality and an improvement, yay for that. And I'll be using it every week. So. so is it getting louder? Do I have to talk louder? Is it, can you hear me? Hello, hello? <laughs> This is so funny. It's so lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything for real. Like, like, it's like, does this thing really work? It's so, like, I don't know, it seems so cheap. But maybe it's not. Maybe it works. Maybe it's perfect. So, I don't know. Let me know if you can hear the difference. Um, so it's right here in this part of the video. And then I'll, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect now. So, oh, you know what I used the other day? I had gotten a little tiny sample at Sephora of CoverFX Mattifying Primer. And I've had it forever, and I just didn't use it. And since I'm out from 5.30, or well, let's say I do my, my makeup, by 6, 6.30, I'm done with everything. And so since I'm out from like six o'clock with makeup on until almost one o'clock in the morning, you know, I have time to test stuff on this face. So I can see by the time I get home what my makeup looks like. Sometimes it's really hurting looking. And sometimes like yesterday, even though I didn't have school yesterday, I got home, whatever. I, I went to sleep like, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock at night. So I go, I usually take a shower right before I go to bed. And I went to the mirror and I looked at myself and I was like, was that yesterday or the day before? One of the, one of the, whatever the day it was. And I was like, damn, my makeup looks like I just put it on. I was like, it's that primer I'd used. I'm telling you, I'm gonna go get me some Cover FX Mattifying Primer. It's like um, almost between silicone and a gel consistency. It's clear and it's just super slippery. When you put it on your face, it just slides right all over your your face. You don't need a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably what, like $30, $40 for a tube. And But let me tell you, I'm, I put it on again today. Like, what time is it now? It is gonna be three o'clock is that so no it's like two yeah it's gonna be three it's 249 and I put it on early this morning and my face it's my skin looks great it's not no oil no grease it's fucking good people cover effects and mattifying primer Psh, what really good I, I'm super impressed with that I like that and then Yesterday, well, the night before, my son felt really bad. I was in school. I was, it was like around 10.30, and my other half texted me. He says, oh, you know, so-and-so, you know, he has, a, he has a really high fever. And he had told me it's like almost 103 is what he told me. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, he never gets sick. He's my oldest one. And like I said, he's never sick ever. And I was like, oh crap, that's not good. So I got home and he was feeling really bad. I stopped by Walgreens at midnight. I was in Walgreens trying to get medicine and this and that and Gatorade and whatever for him. Um, so the next morning he didn't go to school and I took him with me to work and then I took him to Walgreens, their clinic, whatever their clinic is called. I can't remember. It's not Minute Clinic because that's CVS. It's called, I don't remember. Anyway, those things are awesome. I take my kids there all the time when they're sick. If they're really, really sick, instead of waiting in forever at the doctor's office, I take them there. They see him, I get the meds right there, and then I'm gone. So I took him over there, and uh, she's asking for his symptoms and this and that. So she, he's telling her everything, you know, that he, his back was hurting really bad, and he had a really bad headache, and he was very lethargic. He just didn't feel good. So um, a little bit of coughing, not much. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of congestion, not much. It was more so he, he just didn't feel good. His head was heavy, and he was really tired. and aches so she goes um, okay um, I text his dad and I'm like hey listen how high was the temperature last night because he had told me he was no dad told me I need to take a shower because I could have a seizure and I'm like not for a hundred and two and so he texted me it was a hundred and three point eight and I was like oh my god that is crazy so I tell her and she goes oh and she grabs her mask and she's like it sounds like the flu let me put my mask on and I'm here sitting there I'm like oh crap so she takes it, the flu test takes about 10 minutes to, you know, once you swab and you put it in the mixture and all this other stuff. 
So she does that first thing and then she's doing her, the rest of her assessment on him, checking, you know, height, weight, blah, 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 all this stuff. And um, it takes about two minutes to do all of that. And she goes back to the little swab test and she's looking at it and she goes, well, you know, we have like eight more minutes to wait. It takes about 10 minutes. And then she looks at it and she goes, well, I'm not going to wait anymore because you see this and she shows me. She goes, he's already positive. I can see it already. He has the flu, influenza. And I was like, crap, no way. So um, I was like, oh man, you know, oh, this sucks that he has the flu. So we had to get Tammy flu. Mind you, I don't have health insurance for myself or my children. It's just too damn expensive. Um, so uh, we pay for the visit, the flu test, the this, the that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. It was like almost 150 bucks. And then the Tamiflu, which you can only take it within the first 48 hours of getting the symptoms of the flu or testing positive for the flu, that crap was $160 or $180. I got some kind of discount of some sort and I paid just under $150 for it. Oh my God. But it's better than paying. It was like at my job, my insurance would cost me four something every pay period, I think it is. So, you know, doing this in little spurts here and there I'd rather do it that way than having to pay $800 practically a month on insurance it's impossible how can you live like that anyway so I got an infected boy with the flu and then my daughter is sick now but I don't think it's the flu I think it's just like a congestion and coughing and stuff I don't think it's the flu she didn't have a fever my other son just started with that congestion and coughing and he has a slight fever so Oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't get through the whole house. That would be really horrible. But anyway, it's a beautiful day outside. I plan on going out and doing something, I don't know, before I have to put my face in a book again tonight. So uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know. Um, I don't know, ask me whatever you want. I need to turn this thing off. So I don't know, just you have any comments, leave them down below. Um, thank you for the chit chatting with me and the last week's comment section. I always, you know, sometimes I'm a little late on responding, but I do try my best to respond back to everybody. And um, I hope I answered all your questions. For those of you that did have questions in the comments last week and the week before and any, any other time, if not, um, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Sorry, my back is itching and down below. And that's it for this week. Thank you guys so very much for watching, commenting, and being supportive, and being all those wonderful things to all the people that I chit chat on Facebook and here and all the other types of social media. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support and just the 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 genuine chit chats that we have had. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you again next week. Bye.